Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today we are taking a look at a brave new look. We've tested their adult mask before. It didn't go so well. They didn't meet the KF94 standards, so very interested to see what their kids' masks do. Let's get it in the clamper and see what happens. First of all, I, like it's very interesting. It comes, it's like a premium product. This is like $49 for a pack of 20, and it comes in this unmarked bag. I mean, the only way we knew that it was from Brave New Look was, I think that like, it was the return address maybe on the bag? So they are individually packed, which I like, but they're claiming to be KN95s, not KF94s, um, and they're not. And I'll tell you how I know that in just a second. Okay, got it in the clamp. Good clamp there. And we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the, K, uh, the N95 test here because we are in the United States and that's the test we do, but it is very, very similar to the KN95 style. So let's take a look at the listing here. It looks a lot better than their packaging. Uh, this FDA registered, oh boy, KN95 mask offers 95% efficiency. Well, that's what this machine tests, so we shall see. Last time we tested one of their masks, it did not meet that. So there are no, there are no kids FDA registered masks at all. Um, there are no FDA registered KN95 masks because it's a Chinese standard. What would the FDA have anything to do with it? And there are not any FDA registered masks because the FDA doesn't register masks. They clear them. So like this like is four lies in a row right there to you. Um, there was a period of time at the height of the pandemic where, where the FDA said, hey, if you can't get uh, N95s, can N95s are okay to use. Um, and at the time, but the FDA has since rolled that back and said, no more, you don't need can 95 So there are, there, are no, uh, there, are no, there are no can 95s that the FDA has anything to do with anymore. So anytime you see that, you know that that seller or that manufacturer is lying to you. Also, they're lying to you because they're claiming to be a KN95 and they're not following the KN95 standard. So they say KN95 on it. To be a KN95 mask, you need to put three things on the mask. You need to say KN95. Okay, got that one. You need to have the manufacturer name. I can't even tell the manufacturer by the packaging that they didn't send. And uh, you've got to say the executive standard, which the most recent standard is GB2626-2019. I know, I have that memorized very exciting person. Um, so they're lying to you about a ton of stuff on the listing. They're lying to you about being a KN95, which is just not cool. So the question is, what else are they not lying to, or what else are they lying to you about? There's like seven tests that you have to do to be a KN95. I'm doing one of them here, but I'm not going to do all the other tests. It takes too much time. I only have so much time in the day. And so if, if we're not doing all those tests, how do we know that that mask is really going to protect you? Well, let's take a look at the <laughs> it's really poorly put together. It's a really poorly put together mask. Actually, I just started doing this, um, and it's kind of satisfying. Okay, that that's pretty that's pretty well put together. Now I'm going to try the smell test here. Oh, good lord! Oh God! Oh, I I, I got to be honest. I have this like slight fear that uh, someone's gonna send me a mask to test and it's just gonna be to kill me because they hate my mask videos. It's probably like three people in the world that watch these like you and, with you and me. Um, and I bought these, so I know that that didn't happen in this case. Uh, however, that was something that went through my head. It smells so horrible. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, it's very familiar. Oh, it's, um, uh, it's mold that's recently been cleaned with bleach. And that's what that smells like. I have not smelled that before in a mask. That is very interesting. I don't know what's going on with this factory, but I don't like it. All right, now back to the test. The whole reason we're here is to check out what this machine says. Now, do we see the airflow resistance? Mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, 145. 145, so the, the airflow resistance was 145 pascals. We want it to be 100, under 150 if we're gonna wear this for a long period of time. I like to see it around 100 personally for kids' masks, but even my kids' masks aren't there, so I can't. Can't claim that. 145 is perfect. Um, that, that's, that's a pretty decent mask. Um, but remember that 95 in KN95 means 95% and that's what this needs to be. 
and there it is, 98.328, 98.328. So all the other subjective things aside, um, the, the adult masks did not meet standard. Um, this one did. My question is though, if I go through all of these masks or I buy more masks, if they're all gonna make that standard because they're just, they're, they're lying to you about so many things. And I don't think, by the way, that there's some like, you know, evil person sitting at the top of Brave New Look like saying, ooh, I'm gonna trick all of these people. I just think they don't know. I think it's ignorance. I think most people didn't bother to pay the $206 for the 57 page KN95 uh, manual and read what you have to do to make a quality KN95 mask. I think it was just a heck of a lot easier to buy a machine, slap KN95 on it, call it a day, and sell it to you fine people. Um, that said, the fabric on this mask is pretty good, so I gotta give them that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. It's always an adventure here, always an adventure, and I will catch you on that next adventure, that next test, tomorrow at 10 a.m. I will see you then.